this is an iPhone 6 and for what is what there's a lot to like and hate about iPhones. One of the things I really don't like is how Apple makes their iPhones obsolete over time. And no, I don't mean the fact that your friends may find out that you have an older iPhone and mock you even though newer models are hard to distinguish nowadays. I'm talking about the fact that every update to the iPhone makes it slower and more unusable. Let's face it, iPhones are pretty basic. Trying to be very simple and straight to the point. One of the key areas iPhone users hail the iPhone is speed. The iPhone is said to have a fast and fluid user interface and according to many have no lags even though to me this is bogus because every single device has lag. I wanted to share my experience from iOS 8 to iOS 9 which I updated on my iPhone 6. I got it on iOS 8 just to check if Apple was really planning to make their phones obsolete over time after updates. I've watched countless videos on this which I can link in the card or in the description below and you can check them out for yourself. I was also a victim of this myself back on the iPhone 4. When Siri was available on the iPhone 4s, Apple stated there wasn't going to be an update bringing this to the iPhone 4. The 4s had only a better processor, camera and Siri. Hackers and jailbreakers proved Apple was lying and many videos showed Siri working on the iPhone 4 just as well as it did on the 4s. Apple later blocked that server side on the iPhone 4 so that Siri couldn't work any longer. Back then it was a huge deal and if Apple decided to block the biggest feature of the time on the iPhone 4, just because people had to upgrade to the forest, that meant it was pure evil. That marked my switch from Windows Phone then later Android. But that story is for another day. On iOS 8, this iPhone was very very smooth. I had slight hiccups but nearly not as much as I do now with iOS 9. Lag is present throughout the UI, battery life is very inconsistent and I think iOS quality control has dropped a lot from what it used to be back then. I have my LG G2 running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow AOSP which is Google's open source aka pure Android and it's faster than ever before. In an age where Android updates make Android phones faster and iOS updates bug down iPhones, I really don't know what's going on. I thought iPhones were really reliable until now. Well if you've got money you'll never need to worry about this because you simply upgrade your iPhone every single year or two. But what about a guy who doesn't have money to upgrade his phone every single year? Should this suffer because of this? Because Apple wants you to buy a newer iPhone every time a new one is released? I think this is one more reason why Apple keeps selling more iPhones rather than the fact that they just withhold features and release them in bits. Anyways, enough of my rant on bad software. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel for more.